Kubaret Pulev makes easy work of a former world champion. I'm T Cozy and this is with just 15 defeats. This is with just 15 defeats. And I'm T Cozy back with a heavyweight roundup. Now, today we're going to be discussing Samuel Peters' failed attempt to reposition himself back with the elite heavyweights in his um, big fight against Kubra Pulev. Now, if you've got any comments or you want to connect with me, jump down to the comment section and um, let me know what you thought about this fight. And tell me if you thought it went the way that you expected it to go. And tell me what you think um, is the likely um, journey that these two guys are going to go on from now on. So, if you like what you see, remember to click the big thumbs up button. Go to my channel, click on the subscribe button. Check out some of my videos. I've got a lot of videos at the moment. Um, primarily because we have got a lot of major fights coming up. In the next week and the next week after. Okay, so we've got um, Joseph Parker and Andy Ruiz, we've got Anthony Joshua and Eric Molina, we've got Derek Chisora, and we've got Dillian White. We've also got um, Stavern and Povetkin. We've also got some talk about uh, Tony Bellew and um, David Hay. I've also got some bits and bobs about other, other stuff. Just go to the channel, hit the subscribe button, uh, and check out all the good stuff. And remember, comments please comment as much as you can so let's talk about this fight now this is uh, Kubrat Pulev versus Samuel Pia wasn't the fight many people were um, hoping was going to happen but it happened um, for me my viewpoint on that was that it was a homecoming fight for Pulev it was the first time he fought in um, Bulgaria so I think it was arranged primarily on that basis. They didn't see Samuel Peter as a major threat. And they thought it would be a nice um, thing to, to pay back the fans um, before really going into the bigger fights where he will definitely not um, be able to fight on home territory. Even if he was to become a champion, I don't think he would have the stand-in to take a world title fight to... Uh, Bulgaria, unless it was against an absolutely terrible opposition. So let's just talk about this fight. And one of the main things I took from this fight was Samuel Peter's condition. Now, when you look at Samuel Peter from his heyday, he was a he was a big guy. He was thick, thick from shoulder to shoulder, from all the way around the neck, from the head. Real thick, real muscular guy. Now you look at him. And he had a he had a big old belly on him, a big old belly on him. And when I looked at him, he looked like um, he did not look as muscular as he once was, and as thick as he was. But as I say, he was carrying a lot of it around his midsection, so he didn't look um, as 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 opposing as he did um, in his prime. Okay, and obviously, well, we can all kind of guess why that is. Um, but anyway, so the fight was effectively three rounds, just three rounds. And they kind of um, followed a similar trend whereby Pulev was boxing. He was um, dominating the ring. He was utilizing the space within the ring very, very effectively. He was moving all over the place and really um, he was forcing um, Pisa to chase after him, swing wildly from range. Um, primarily, he was trying to attack the body, um, but he really got nowhere near Pulev. He really got nowhere near him. But on the other side, Pulev was jabbing him at will. Whenever he wanted, he was popping a jab out right on the end of Peter's nose over and over again. Jab move jab move and he was just he was just he was just a jab um masterclass uh, he just did not give he just he just did not give him an opportunity to really close the distance Samuel Peter never really was that type of 
type of guy. Um, but one of the things I did notice was that one of the trademarks of Samuel Peter in his heyday was that he was quite a... Um, a um, he, his defence has always been terrible. Okay, His defence has always been pretty terrible. But he kind of, um, in his prime... He rolled from side to side. He ducked a lot. He 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 ducked down to try and avoid these punches. Not that it really made much impact, but he did this, um, and it obviously kind of it was something for the opponent to think about. In this fight, that was gone. His head was just there. His hands were kind of down from his face, and it was just pop, 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 and he was just getting hit. He was getting very, very frustrated, and we know he was wildly swinging and realistically he only really got any action when he was right up close um, when he was holding him we know in the first round he hit Pulev like on the ear and the funny thing is that could have been quite a, a dangerous punch for Pulev it could have kind of completely knocked him out of whack and whatever but fortunately he was he was okay um, it, it carried on and just the three rounds went on to this and then right at the end um Peter, right at the end of the round, kind of went all all out and swung out really for the fences and got nowhere. And he walked to his corner and that was it. He would look like he was about to collapse. Um, and he did not return from his corner. Now, um, I basically said that the only chance that Samuel Peter would have a chance, well, the only strategy that Samuel Peter would have to, to win this would be to attack and hurt Pulev early and really close the distance he kind of tried that once in the first round and that was it and then he was just um chasing him down and couldn't couldn't get close to him really could not get close to him um and my prediction was a fight that it would go to fairly late and it would be a ref or um a, a corner stoppage and well, we had it. We had a f f fairly, a fairly, fairly sound prediction. Just the fact that it happened a lot earlier. Um, so, as I said, it was um, it, it wasn't a great fight. It was um, Peter didn't really have um, much to offer, um, and he was clearly looking for that that knockout. And as I said in the preview of this fight, that if he managed to get that that knockout, it would lead to a probably. A, a pretty big payday. It probably he probably would leapfrog a lot of people, and um, he would probably get a, a world title shot off the back of it. I would have thought, um, and it would have been his final final payday. Um, having said that, I think this is probably it for Samuel Peter. I don't think he has much to offer, and I think it would be stupid for him to continue because of the amount of damage that he was taking. And against other elite guys, he would take a lot of damage. Um, so. Anyway, um, Pulev moves forward. Uh, again, as I said in the preview, I don't think um, the victory does much for him. It, it doesn't move him forward. It doesn't elevate him in the rankings. It's good to have um, a former world champion on his CV, um, but a very, very faded one at that. Um, so I think, as I've said uh, multiple occasions, I think this was really just one for the fans, to give, to give something back to his fans. Whilst he had the opportunity in a fairly easy fight. Um, now he'll move forward next year. I'm expecting a big 2017 from um, Pulev. I think he really, he's going to need to get in there with at least one of the top seven guys. He's going to have to get in there. With, he's going to have to get in there. Now I believe he's one of the top nine guys in the world. And I think he's going to have to get in there with one of the others. One of the other top they are one of the top eight guys, so um, at least once next year. Um, realistically, he should be looking for um, a title shot against one of the contenders, or one of the belt holders. Obviously, a lot of things are going to be um, resolved in the next week because we've got some of the some of the big players um, all fighting. Anthony Joshua, we've got um, Joseph Parker, We've got Povetkin. These sort of guys, if they come through their through their fights, um, they kind of they're there with the Wilders, um, Klitschko, etc. Uh, and even Tyson Fury, if he comes back um, in in the uh, middle of next year, so he really needs to move forward with with a massive fight for next year. But 
there we go. So that was what I thought of um, Pulu's victory over Samuel Peter. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments on this um, fight, connect with me ASAP and I'll um, get back to you as soon as possible. And remember to check out the channel, um, check out some of my other videos. It's been great to talk to you. We'll see you in the next video.